Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and today I will be making a grave blanket for Christmas for my grandfather made of all Dollar Tree items. So I'm going to be using these twist ties from the tool bench section and two metal wreath forms and I'm just going to secure the two corners with the twist ties and then I'm using five of the green Christmas trees and two of the white and I'm just going to keep working on all of them until they're flat and I also took the bottoms off as well those come right off so it just takes uh, some time and some patience to keep working all of these get the branches in the right directions and have them lay as flat as possible so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be right back all right so I've done all five green and two white and now I'm just kind of in my head trying to figure out how I'm going to be positioning them um, I probably could have gone with some more trees but I'm going to make this work however it is and then I also have to make it slightly easier for myself so that the wire frame doesn't show I got these two 15 foot garlands and I'm gonna cut strips and glue them onto the frame before we begin so I'm just going to kind of snip these to length, give or take a little bit, just so that I don't have to worry about the wreath form showing throughout all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these lengths, and then I'm going to hot glue them on three pieces on each side. So on each bar, I'll be gluing a piece of this. Now I am using Gorilla Hot Glue because this is going to be outside, so I want the best hot glue possible, and that is it i'm just putting the last pieces on so this is what we are working with now i can go ahead and attach those trees with at least not worrying about the wreath form showing because there's enough problems to deal with with this so i am going to take some electrical tape because that's also kind of waterproof and connect the th bunches of threes and bunches of two and then I'm going to twist tie them on so I have three on the ends and then the two whites in the middle and I'm twist tying them to the wreath forms and now I have to get off of my table because I need more room so I have put this down on the floor to kind of see what we're working with and you'll see those empty spaces in the middle are going to be the most challenging but we will make this work so what I've purchased to fill this in and decorate it is four bunches of the poinsettias from Dollar Tree of the red poinsettias specifically so that's four bunches of those and then I bought this red glitter five pack of cedar picks I got four bunches of this holly leaves with berries And then I also got just two of the white poinsettia bouquets. And for little finishing touches, I bought this really pretty cross ornament. And I also got this red cardinal because of spirits. So I'm just snipping the poinsettias off and this is basically just going to be a lot of playing around and trial and error and seeing how everything goes i'm just attaching everything with these zip ties and with the gorilla hot glue and i'm not going to show you the whole thing so you don't get bored but that's what i'm doing for a long time and this is the finished product as of now so I'm just standing up to get a different perspective. And first thing I see, I know it looks all kind of wonky and cockeyed, but remember this whole thing can shift around. So it, you know, you can move it however you need to. Um, but one thing I am noticing is that I'm not liking the 
points, like the tops of the Christmas trees. I don't like the way that looks so much. So I'm going to go ahead and snip those down rather low because um, I think I'm going to like the way that looks better. And here I have snipped them down a little bit and I am, the shape is making a little more sense. So I've attached everything for the most part and I'm just gonna go ahead and add things or do whatever I feel is necessary. This was my first one. I plan on making a new one every single year. And this one was rather tough and emotional because as many of you know, it was this is the first Christmas since my grandfather passed away from COVID. So it was uh, an emotional DIY to make, um, but I learned from it and I know, you know, how it works now and things that I might do differently next year. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed and I hope I give you some ideas because I know a lot of you said that you wanted to make them as well. I do think that in upcoming years, I may just purchase a four foot artificial tree and work from there. But again, this is my first one and got my brain going at least. So I think it did what it was supposed to do. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.